Hello dear friends, my name is Papa Mayele. How many of you know the animal warthog? Maybe some of you don't know the reason why this animal goes backward like some native doctors do when they enter into their shrine. <laughs> anyway, today you will find out why the warthog always enters its hole backwards. Once upon a time, the warthog was the most handsome creature in all the land. Animals would come from far and wide to gaze upon his beauty, comment on and try find out the secrets behind his smooth skin and just have a glimpse of his cute tusks. For this reason, Warthog became very vain and proud and would walk around with a bounce in his step, a haughty look on his face and raised shoulders for all to see him. Very soon, he began to talk down on all the animals except those who were almost as good looking as he was and those who belonged to his so-called class. It was all very well at first and many thought that this newfound but bad behavior would die down with time, but unfortunately it did not. It only got worse and worse by the day. So many stayed away from Warthog, resulting in none of the other animals liking him very much. One day, Warthog left his burrow and pranced about as usual with his tail held high in the air to go in search of food. He passed by Porcupine, who had been awake all night foraging for food and was not that successful, but managed to get a little something to eat that could at least sustain her throughout the day. Because of her exhaustive activities, Porcupine was really tired and decided to borrow Warthog's barrow for a few minutes rest before going her way because her home was pretty far away from the area. So as soon as Warthog was out of sight, Porcupine slipped into his burrow and eventually fell asleep. As Warthog walked about, he came across a cool water hole with some good grazing grass and very tempting mud at its edge. It was a hot summer's day so Warthog wasted no time in getting in and wallowing about in the mud to cool himself off. Close to the water hall, lying under a tree, was Lion. Of course, Warthog could not resist showing himself off, so he purposely trotted his way around Lion to grab his attention. Unfortunately, Lion was not in the mood for any type of nonsense today. He too had been struggling all night to catch something to eat and was not only hot and hungry, he grew even more angry and agitated. And Warthog parading around him aimlessly was just the last straw. So with a mighty roar, he rose up and charged at Warthog with the realization that he might as well be his next meal. Warthog realized that he had pushed Lion too far this time and ran with all his might towards the burrow, knowing very well that Lion would not be small enough to enter if he got there quickly. Angry Lion was quickly closing in on him, but to his luck, Warthog was way ahead. He then jumped head first into the burrow and the lion stood angrily at its edge, roaring his lungs out furiously. Porcupine, who all this while had been sleeping peacefully, heard the commotion and woke up with a start. Because she thought she was being attacked, she discharged her natural defense mechanism and let out her quails to fend off her attacker. In a pure moment of disaster, Warthog ran so fast, but he saw Porcupine too late and crashed straight 
into her sword-like coils. Wathog shrieked in pain as many of the coils left Porcupine and attached themselves to Wathog's face and nose. He quickly backed out of his burrow, shrieking and squealing in pain. Lion was still at the burrow's edge and laughed his heart out when he saw Wathog's face full of coils. <laughs> so you right, <laughs> Lion said. That will teach you to be so vain. Have your parents never taught you that pride surely comes before a fall? <laughs> With that, he took off and went to go and find Parrot the Gossip, who, without any form of hesitation, distributed the news all over the kingdom. When everyone else heard the story, they all came from far and wide to laugh at Warthog, and none of them helped him pull out the quails. Warthog was, of course, very upset and pulled the quails out himself, but they had caused his face to swell up so much that his once handsome features altogether disappeared. As you can quite well see, that is the reason why to this day Wathog is so ugly. It was quite unfortunate that it took such a drastic event, but he did indeed learn a very good and hard lesson for being so vain. Lastly, my dear friends, yes, you guessed it right. That is also why Warthog enters his barrow backwards, just in case. <laughs>